Hey, what's up? How's it going? It's Rob and welcome to Leaf Curious. So, just like Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo, the beaver too is an artist in the Renaissance, but not the Renaissance that we know. I'm talking about the Renaissance of our countryside and of our natural systems here in the UK. They are all, however, fantastic sculptors. And in today's video, I want to tell you about the past, the present and the future of the beaver here in the UK and tell you exactly why it's going to play such a crucial role in the renaissance of the British countryside. Where beavers are concerned, and to be honest, the really cool thing about them, is their ability to directly engineer and alter the physical environment making themselves a keystone species. Whether if there's any pre damn discussions or if it's just pure instinct, beavers engineer the landscape to create a safe and accessible environment for themselves to live. Beavers build dams constructed from stones, mud, branches, and sometimes whole trees being felled to facilitate their vision. These dams for the beavers not only provide shelter where they can safely raise their families, but it fundamentally slows the flow and raises the depth and therefore area of the water. Beavers typically create a series of smaller dams to enable access to new feeding areas. But this plugging of the water creates beautiful wetland areas that all manner of wildlife can come and take advantage of. The felling of trees allows for light to pass through the canopy to light hungry regenerative plants. The stumps of felled trees spring back to life and it's this structural diversity that is so valuable for wildlife. This regulation of water is something which benefits humans too, as the slowing and pooling of water prevents flooding in our towns. Beavers are also loved by people and generate huge amounts of interest, which means great opportunities for local businesses. So a little bit like during the fairly mundane times of the Middle Ages, before Leonardo da Vinci inspired the world with his artistic creations, the UK countryside ecologically is a little bit bland. And it's only now that we're starting to feel the revelating effects of the beaver again. I say again because the beaver was once widespread. 500 years ago, beavers were hunted to extinction. Their fur was used to create clothing and their scent glands were used in medicine. Sadly, this was a trend which occurred across the world and beavers declined dramatically. But thankfully, the cultures and means of fueling this in many areas has long since moved on, like here in the UK. And what followed the absence of the beaver was a decline in biodiversity, with creatures like the wolf, another keystone species, also being hunted to extinction, widespread habitat destruction to accommodate the growing population of humans, all attributed to the makings of the landscape and how we see it today. And yes, there are some very beautiful natural areas in the UK today. But it's that understanding of the shifting baseline syndrome that what we see and is accepted as good today would have been different 300 years ago. Our best natural areas today in comparison to back then would have just been the norm. But we're not here to live in the past, we're here to live in the now and make decisions now that are going to help shape our future and as we know, beavers can play such a crucial role in shaping that future. So, what's currently going on with beavers in the UK? Well, there's a number of populations of beavers in the UK. Most of them are controlled reintroductions and unfortunately fenced in. But that's not to say that we haven't learned firsthand of the benefits that beavers bring to an area ecologically. However, there are some areas where there are free roaming beavers, such as Napdale, the River Tay, and the River Otter. Everywhere beavers have established in the UK, enclosed or wild, they are showing their worth not only to creating habitat for biodiversity, but also is hugely benefiting people of the local areas. And on the River Otter, where it is still unknown for certain how the beavers got there in the first place, on the River Otter, there has been a huge surge of tourism, of ecotourism, of people being interested and coming to see the beavers. And what that's meant for the local businesses and the local people, it's just huge opportunity. You know, what's better than a thriving industry of ecotourism? There have been a couple of instances where local farmers have been affected by beavers. Some beavers had taken a liking to eating the farmer's maize crops in late summer. 
The loss of crops is negligible, but the beavers had built dams and flooded the area to easily access the crops. To avoid damage to farm machinery, these areas had been marked off with flags and avoided by the farmers and contractors. Calculations were made and this loss of area was insignificant. These issues between beavers and farmers have been mitigated in parts of Germany, where they have a 20 meter buffer zone between the river courses and the agricultural land. Beavers can quite impressively gnaw their way through a tree in a night. In a group of them, three or four of them, they can make their way through a tree and have it down on the floor. But sometimes this does cause a bit of friction with landowners, people that want to keep certain trees. And there's a very easy way that this can be mitigated and is mitigated. You just get a strong wire mesh and wrap it around the tree and the beavers can't get through it. And putting fences up is also recommended to prevent beavers from getting into certain areas. In Scotland, beavers are protected and given the right to naturally expand their range. However, under license, landowners still have the right to kill them if they wish. Every effort is made to relocate the beavers before lethal action is taken. The world and especially the UK is facing an environmental crisis. Biodiversity is declining at a rate that is unprecedented and we need to be doing everything that we can to be turning the tables in our favour, in the favour of nature. And beavers are a highly cost effective way that we can do that. The value they bring to wildlife, to people and to businesses far outweighs any of the negative issues that would arise. And please share your thoughts down in the comments. Are you for the beaver introduction? Are you against it? Tell me your reasons why. If you want to know more about beavers and the introduction to the UK, I've linked a bunch of really, really good resources down in the description of the video. And if you're into videos about wildlife, nature and sustainability, then consider subscribing. But thanks for watching. Leave curious. Okay, I was getting really badly bitten there, really badly. Uh, I didn't think, I didn't think gnats uh, would be out. But they're really, really chomping hard at me. By the way, it's just like, it's just like the most fantastic day to be outside. The only thing that would make today better is if I saw, is if I saw a beaver. Okay.